Now you can see I'm bringing in these indices, right? But these are the best, okay? Um, if I said to you, if I actually wrote something like this, how would you, like verbally, how would you read that out? N to the power of one. You'd say N to the power of, and then you just read out whatever number is there, okay? But almost none of you will read out this in the same way. You won't read that as n to the power of 2, you'll read that as n squared. n squared. Now, why do you think we do that? It's an easier way to it's because <laughs> It's because of this, right? What does that look like? Well, remember how I represented a, b as a that way and b this way? Well, surprise, surprise, n squared is n this way and n this way. That's why we call it n squared. Because it's a square, okay? So there's n squared out the front. Revelations. How am I going to do the rest of this? What's it going to look like? Hmm. How would you draw 2n? Two 2n two squared? Yeah, okay. Now, you can see, if I did 2, that would be just one little block and one little block. But actually, this is 2n. So it can be too high, like that, okay? But it's going to be wide, isn't it? How wide is it going to be? N. It's going to be this wide, right? The same width I had before. So it's going to look like this. That's still n, and that's 2. Do you see how I've arranged it? Yeah. You can kind of finish this off, right? I'm going to add to it another rectangle. It's going to look like this. This is n, and this is 3. Yeah? Last one. What do you want me to put on the end? Uh, uh. Two, 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 two of the... Yeah, I'm just going to do two more squares, right? Because it says two and square. You with me? So I'm just going to do one here and another one here. Okay. Now, as I pointed out, just like early on, right? Our initial error here would be like to say 12x. That's a very common error to make at the beginning. Here, like look at this mess. It's a bit of a disaster, right? Now we teach you, we train you to, to say that these things are different to these things. Can you see why they're different? Yes. Yeah. Because look, they're squares and these are like weird oblongy things, okay? So they don't fit, that's why we don't collect them. What is the answer? What's the answer? I heard it, say it again. Oh yeah, plus. Okay. Now, Remember I said to you, simple idea, powerful application. We can simplify this by collecting like terms. Another thing you could be asked to do after this is to factorize it. How would you factorize this answer? What could you take out? N. You could take out an n, right? What would that leave you with in the brackets? 3 plus n. 3n plus 1. 3n plus 1, right? Okay, now just pause. What would that look like? What does that look like? It's n wide. And how high is it? 3n plus 1. Yeah, yeah. 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 One n, two n's, three n's, plus one. Do you see it? N's here. Right? There's the factorization. What factorizing means is put together whatever rectangles and squares you can, so long as they match up like this. There's the n, there's the 3n plus 1, right? Because I just took these three, jammed them on the top. When you take these two away, you only get left with one. So that's why it's hanging out there on the bottom. Okay. All right, I'm going to do one more example for you. Uh, no, I tell a lie. No, yeah, we'll do one more because I'm running out of space. Uh, example four. Okay. Now... Again, I'm trying to make you think, before you leap to an answer, right? We'll leap to the answer in a second, but I want you to think about what it means. This, I'm contending, I can draw with squares and rectangles. How am I going to do it? Hmm. Yeah, okay, so here's the way I'm going to approach it, right? The first thing is, I know what that looks like, right? I've actually drawn that kind of several times today. Uh, n squared is going to look like that. There's n squared. And then 3. I get a 3. There you go, there's 3. But just like over here, how I was like, oh, there's a rectangle, but now I want 3 of them. 
three of those rectangles. How many rectangles like this am I going to have? And the answer is I'm going to have n of them, right? Now, watch this. Watch this. I'm going to draw another one here. I'm going to dot, 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 because I actually don't know how many n is. It could be 50, it could be 100, it could be just one. I don't know, so I'm just going to draw dots to indicate I don't know how many. Now, here's the thing. I want to combine these things together in some way. Okay? Let's do the easy bit first. n times 3. That's these guys, right? What's that going to look like? Why? Haven't I already drawn it on the board? That it's right there. Do you see why? Because what I've done is I've taken all of these guys and then I've just lined them up one, two, three, four, however many until there's n of them. Right? So I'll draw that guy first. Uh, n, three. Okay, so there's the three n. Okay, now what about these guys? What happens when you put all of them together? Now, the thing is, I don't know what n is, but if this is a square, this is really a square, and I put together the same number of squares as the width is, well, if there's one thing I know about squares, when you take, let's say n was 4, right? If you take 1, and then you put it together with 2, and then you put it together with 3, and then you've got 4, which is n of them. A cube. What's that? A cube. It's n cubed, right? Because we call it cubed. We don't say n to the power of 3. We call it n cubed because it's a cube. That's the name we give to this shape. So I'm going to draw it. There he is. There's n cubed. N, n, and 